basically these are common crate babies that were found uh, on my property. Basically uh, there was an uh, old foundation and we were taking out the foundation and uh, during the excavation process these babies were discovered in one of the burrows that were living underneath the foundation. That basically shows that the adults are actively in the area and uh, these uh, eggs hatched and uh, these are the subsequent uh, result of the litters that have survived and these snakes were locally found within a mile from where we are talking right now and uh, these are Bungurusarulius babies uh, very distinctive on their markings with the white bandings and they are, are going to be released into the wild sometime today uh, relocated back into the area so that they can go ahead and uh, mature out and start off and give them a fresh start of life. Um, crates are uh, basically uh, nothing much is known about the reproductive nature of crates. Uh, not much is known about them because they're so secretive in nature. And uh, this was just an example of what we discovered just basically after some excavation locally. And uh, this is the yield and the <laughs> uh, rewards that were discovered. Uh, in Sri Lanka, if this were discovered by any common people, for example, homeowners, this would have definitely have been met with their fate, they would have been killed. No way would this have been spared because of the nature of the snake. And there is no way that uh, the crate would be spared uh, by anybody in Sri Lanka. It would definitely be uh, exterminated on site. Anything else or not you want to add about these snakes? Are all three were found on my property? Yes. Uh, all three? Same, same. Yes, so basically, same basically then this is probably of one litter, yeah. which means that mama and dad are in the area. Yes. Okay. Yes. And also you were saying that uh, a child was killed by a crate. Yes. Uh, uh, not too long ago? Uh, About one year, one year ago? One year ago. What, what happened on that incident, Sanat, with the, with the bite? Uh, a, a child across the property from me? Across no, my... No, uh, she was uh, living close by? Uh, yes. Close by. And uh, what, what happened with that incident? It was bitten? Yeah. Didn't survive? Uh, at night. Uh, at night. Okay. And the morning uh, died. Yeah. So respiratory failure. Yeah. Then there was also another incident that happened recently yeah. with a lady you told me that was going to uh, uh, pound rice. Yeah. Right? Uh, also yes. a crate bite? Yes. Yeah. What 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 was the story on that one? Uh, she was uh, in in, a, in an outdoor kitchen, basically again. So most of these bites are basically taking place in the rural areas, not in areas where there is uh, modern structures. So basically in the rural settings, in uh, probably a, a wetland dub house made out of matty as we call it. So basically uh, the crate maybe came there for the coolness and hid behind the utensils yeah. and when the lady went to take it, was bitten yeah. on the hand yeah. and did that lady die? Yeah. Die. Immediately or after yeah. a few yeah. hours? Yeah. To the Dambulla hospital yeah. and didn't survive. Yeah. So basically uh, the thing with crate bites is uh, most of the time it's either uh, uh, different uh, reactivity to the venom some go into severe respiratory failure which requires the assistance of a uh, assisted ventilator but in this particular case uh, the neurotoxin was uh, it was probably a very large dose of venom that was injected and uh, probably the lady went into shock and that also attributed probably to the death and just went into failure and died so this is one of the snakes I would say according to Dr. Sam Kularatna uh, a lot of unaccounted deaths for in Sri Lanka in the rural areas for unknown causes he would say would attribute to this snake and uh, antivenom for this snake is vital. Uh, currently the only antivenom for these snakes in Sri Lanka is covered by the uh, Vince antivenom uh, that makes the uh, antivenom for the big four of India namely the Cobra Crate, Russell's Viper and Saw Scale Viper. Uh, there is no current antivenom in Sri Lanka for the bite inflicted by the hump nose viper. So that's the reason uh, antivenom pro program for Sri Lanka for being something that is regional and species specific would be the way for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka needs to look outside of India 
for a specific polyvalent antivenom in order to reduce its snake bite statistics for Southeast Asia. And that is the overall concept of our project that we are working on. And currently we are working with our personnel in Sri Lanka, especially with the Department of Health, for giving us the authority and the authorization for taking venom samples to the US so we can make a trial batch of antivenoms that it can be tried and field tested. And if the program seems practical and effective, then a large scale uh, 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 clinical uh, trials will begin in Sri Lanka. So the main purpose of this trip was basically to bring this team and some of the uh, predecessors for the future to see the current problem and to basically scope out what will be our agenda so when we come back we want to do this in a grand scale and make Sri Lanka uh, one of the venom collecting facilities for Southeast Asia. That's basically our goal as expatriates of this country, working with people like this that are dedicated, have a passion for the reptiles and the people. Uh, Anti-venom is nothing, uh, it's, it's a humanitarian project. There is no money to be made in it. And due to the fact of very low uh, money to be made in this project, it is not a very it is not a very significant thing in Sri Lanka because uh, in everything uh, everybody is concerned about at the end of the day what they can make out of it but uh, antivenom basically is for the poor man it is mainly for the farmers that are in the dry zone that basically give us all the rice that we require for this country and it is basically an occupational hazard to them and so ultimately we would want to bring a cure effective cure for them and uh, make it uh, so that we don't have any deaths that I counted for in Sri Lanka from snake bites and we can make snake bites a, past, a thing of the, of, of the past. So that is the whole project and that's the reason we try to cover this thing in depth. And uh, thank you Jaron Lucas from the Southwestern Herb Society for patiently videotaping this for us and coming with me to Sri Lanka so that I can uh, envision you and educate you and uh, and uh, show you my country. Thank you. And Sanaf, we uh, wanted to thank you too for your dedication and for your friendship. And uh, my one vision will be is to uh, bring Sanat for a training program to the US and uh, be part of our project. And he'll be my right hand when it comes to the captive breeding and venom collecting facility in Sri Lanka. Thank you.